Japanese egg custard or chawamushi. Let's take a look at some of the ingredients that you may need. And I say some because you get to choose the toppings and garnish you want. For example, I will be using green onion as garnish, and I decided to use the bias cut to give it a prettier look. I will also be using carrots as one of my toppings. So after slicing them thinly, I will give them a pretty shape using a cookie cutter. Whether you're using fresh or dried shiitake mushrooms, don't forget to remove the stems. And leaving the mushrooms whole or thinly sliced will be a matter of personal preference. Let's add a few pinches of salt to the eggs before beating them until smooth. Next, we'll add the mirin, light soy sauce, and dashi stock. Mix. Now don't forget to run the egg mixture through a fine sieve, because this is what will give your egg custard that silky smooth texture. So now we will cover them with aluminum foil so that water won't come in while we're steaming. How long it will take for the egg custard to set will depend on the container you're using for the egg mixtures, as well as the kind of steamer you are using. But we're guessing 15 to 20 minutes. So the best thing to do is to check from time to time. And once you see that the custard has started to set, then that's the time you can start adding the toppings. And once you're done laying them all down, steam for an additional three to five minutes or until all ingredients are cooked. Add your garnish right before serving because you want them looking fresh and not wilted. So colorful. And they almost look too pretty to eat. Are you ready to make some of your own now?